Tech Stock Traders, welcome back. Tuesday, what's today's date? Today is actually the 13th. How's everybody doing this morning? Good to see you all. Everybody on Facebook and YouTube and all Cyber Traders, how are you up there? Just looking up, see good morning to you, Phil. Lita, good morning, everybody. All right, good, good, good. Ken, good to see you all. What a great day it was yesterday. Oh, I was so excited. We had, we had a nice little trade. I can't wait to talk about it. The TIRX, oh my God, that was amazing. Um, I, I tell you, when I show you this stock, I don't know if some of you here missed it. I know some of you were in class uh, in the afternoon, but some of you are actually probably watch this on YouTube and be like, I, I haven't seen a stock like this in years, years. I can't wait to talk about it, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. But just before we get started, everybody, um, we did post up a link really quick. It was on the website. And it's also up. I am going to be on Wealth 365. There's a big, big event that's going on. You're going to have close to like 60, 70 speakers out there. I'm one of the future speakers out there. Please click on it, register on it. Look forward to seeing you there. Listen, the greatest thing you all can do is you have to learn before you could earn. So uh, it's a motto we always go by. And everybody wants to do it, and you should do it. Doesn't mean that you could unless someone shows it to you. So you got to learn from the professional before you go out there and make your first dollar. Now, um, regarding about what what to expect uh, going into today, listen, we got some really great news that came on some certain stocks. Companies came out with uh, basically what was it? New, new stage three trials that got approved. Um, certain stocks there. We got a. Great IPO that's coming out tomorrow. I'm going to do a video on it because I, I think it's going to be exciting. Bitcoin, you know, is obviously the big thing. I did a, I did a, an event yesterday with a, with a panelist. It's actually going to be on YouTube um, with, uh, was it, uh, who, who did I do it with? I do so many of them with Timing Research. That's who it was. And I was talking about coins going public tomorrow. What, that's going to be an exciting one. Can't wait to see how that's going to fit. I think that's probably going to be one of the most Important IPOs that came out in years. I'm talking, this thing is even bigger than than Uber and you know uh, uh, DoorDash and all of them. I mean, this is really a, a big foundation when, uh, of, a, of, a, of a public company that's going to go out. It's going to be really exciting. Can't wait till it happens. And you can see that there are stocks already starting to tee up on it. I know Bitcoin was up, uh, I think, I don't know. Josh Bray basically tell me he's our, he's our he's our Bitcoin guy. I think it was up like 20, uh, 2700 this morning already. But anyway, let's talk about some. We'll talk about the Mara and we'll talk about uh, also we'll talk about Riot. But before we do that, I want to talk about some of the stocks that we are looking at right now. Um, I do want to talk about that TIRX. So anyway, let me bring up a two day chart here. Look at awesome. I have not seen a stock do this. I can't tell you when. I mean, literally a hundred dollars, literally almost at a hundred. The stock went down all the way to twelve dollars. It got a hold it. It got a hold it. And the craziest thing about it, there was no news on it. I mean, I, I still don't even really know the news. We were looking it up. Uh, me and Rich were looking all over. I mean, I, I, Josh was in class. We we're trying to find it. I was going on Benzinga. I was going on uh, Bloomberg. I was going. We were checking the message boards. But anyway, we trade this stock. Uh, I didn't buy a lot of it. I traded it yesterday. I'm going to blow this up so you guys get a little bit better. So you can see right here, um, right around the 3.30 time frame when we get the second push, that's where the stock made its move. So around $15 it was a really good buy. And you can see how the stock literally went up to about, uh, went up about $18. I mean, doesn't look like a lot when you look at it from this perspective. But when you're looking from up here and it goes down here, I mean, that that's... I'm, I'm going to ask everybody an honest question. When was the last time have you ever seen a stock go from $95 down to 12 in one day from 11 o'clock away to 3? And I can almost guarantee never because I don't even remember the last time I traded a stock like this, okay? We see stocks go from 15 to 100 and because the, the, the sky's the limit. But there is a basement, okay? There's, there is, a, there is, there, there. You can't go any lower when you hit, when you hit grade, and grade is zero, okay? So people always ask me, oh, it's a ninety dollars stock. How much lower could it go? It can go to zero. Listen, I had that argument, and I was telling people when it was during the financial crisis when people were freaking out when Citibank was at a dollar, and you're like, how much lower could it go? I remember I was doing, I was, I was in. In, uh, in the middle of an audience up in Toronto, Canada, I had probably had about three, four hundred people in the audience, 
and they all kept on asking me, what the hell's going on with your banks? I'm in this bank. And, it, you know, and I remember I, I was there within three months. It was at like 28. And I said, I don't know, next support level is 18. Well, look what happened. Went down to a dollar. Like, I can't go to 18. Is that Could that really happen? I don't know. You guys know better than me from my Canadian friends. What happened to Nortel? I think everybody in Nortel owned owned that stock. And they ran that thing all the way to the bottom. But anyway, um, this stock, I did pretty well on it. I want to keep a close eye on it. I did own a little bit. I, I, I got a little nervous. I get, I freak out when it comes to this. Listen, the big thing about being a professional day trader is I don't care what people tell you. I'm very conservative. I, I was never a big, big, you know, a big trader because I, I, I'm always like looking to take the money. So I did buy a small lot. I held it overnight. I mean, I was up a little bit big. I had a 500 shares. Um, I had it from 1867. I was up about 1400. I sold. I, I sold the other half after hours uh, because it did have a nice little rally. You could see it kind of ran all the way up to about 23, 24 dollars. Um, I got out right around here, around 21, pretty much the same price. But it had a nice little pop. So if you were here in in the cyber group room in the afternoon, I, you did hear me sell it. I said, "Listen, you know what? I held a little position. I'm going to hold it. Let's see what happens going into the afternoon." Anyway. That was exciting, and uh, I mean, I, I just haven't seen something like that drop that much in such a long time. That's what day trading's all about. So anyway, a couple of other stocks I do want to bring up uh, that also did pretty well. We had Mud also made a new high right there. Mud was a nice stock. Uh, that stock went from eleven to about thirteen. Not as nice as you know the the uh, the TIRX. And then we had the Can. My God, Can got crushed. Holy crap. Another one I got hammered. This stock just did not want to stop. Actually, I got some great images uh, from, from Can. Now, a lot of you know the biggest thing that we teach at Cyber Trade University is following the money. Okay. Let me just take this out for some people. Okay. So you guys can see a little bit better on YouTube. So um, there was these big iceberg orders out there, huge iceberg orders. Actually, I think I got an image of it. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Uh, here we go. Let me just bring this up. A couple of screenshots I got right here. Okay, right here. I'm gonna bring a screenshot I did right here because I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be adding this to uh, my a, a video I'm gonna do on YouTube and also on my PowerPoint that I'm gonna do on Open House. But look at this right here. This actually order was even bigger. Uh, right around 10:40. Look at this. There was a huge iceberg order. The guy got filled not once, not twice, but three times. You could see that order right down there for 229,000 shares. You know how much money that is at a $15 stock? I bet that, I know that's not you, okay? But guess what? The stock got filled. And not only did it get filled, the damn thing dropped all the way down. And this is up to 130. Remember, I was showing you at 1040, which is right around here. This is where that guy was, right around here. That, that's where that support level was, right around there. And look what ended up happening. Boom. When that $15 order got filled, the damn thing dropped all the way down to 12. So you know the strategy behind day trading, and you know the strategy about, which we all know, supply and demand. That was an awesome, awesome trade. And But it's back on the watch list this morning because that is something that could make a new high. You know what I mean? Bottom fishing, stock, you know, this is all these pot stocks. Stock got crushed. I think I had like um, something about earnings, I think it was. Right? Is that what it was, Josh? I think Josh told me. I think it was a, a, bad reporting on the earnings that I think it was. But anyway, that was also a fun stock. Had a nice little pop out. And then obviously looks pretty good. So, But there's a major, major, major resistance levels at 15. Okay? So until it breaks that, party's over. All right, so let's talk about what's moving this morning because there are a couple of stocks on this watch list. Obviously, the TIRX is back on the watch list. Here's another stock right here, MFNC. Stock had an unbelievable after hours push. You could see it right here. Had it made a big run up right here. Um, just literally just took right off. And then all of a sudden, it's starting to go back up a little bit. She started making a little bit of a move. Um, looks like the, pretty much the 9 a.m. move right here. We got resistance levels right around the 2050. We got a couple of big orders out there that's kind of holding it back. But this is a very tough stock to trade. You could um, In class, Josh was going over this one of the – the three T's we always talk about, tradable, trend, and trap. Phase one is tradable. Phase two is trend. Phase three of our courses are the traps, the head fakes, the reverse psychology, the losing, everything. 
You can't pass the first tee. You can forget about trading. The stock got in. We, we went over it. Make sure you review it. Tradable is a very uh, key component when it comes to trading because that's the most expensive part of the trade is the tradable. So anyway, it's more of a category three. I'll give it right now. But, you know, some of us are obviously a little uh, more volatile, little good traders than that. So, you know, we could be a category three. Remember, it goes up to a five. VT, uh, VTVT also, very inexpensive stock. Nice tier sizes. 3.9 million shares already traded. She's kind of flat, though. You could see she gapped up a little bit in pre-market, which we are in right now. But she's kind of holding here. It's got a kind of a little bit of a resistance levels around $3. See how that kind of works out. So I'm not completely sold on that. Um, what else that we had here? We had the big one. What was the big one right here? Uh, oh, this one right here. I forgot what, that's what I was looking for. The NVCR. So this is another stock that came out with, uh, with, with the stage three cancer drug. So, uh, so basically they're in phase three trial. They got approval. This thing just literally went from a buck 20 to, uh, to 260, but it kind of like died. It started to go back down right here. You can see how Looking at this chart right here, let me bring it up a little bit closer for you. Right around 8 o'clock, it had that big pop from like 190 and ran all the way to 250. But now you can start seeing the, the candlestick start getting a little bit tighter. It's starting to trend down. That's a pretty substantial uh, move right there. So this one, obviously, if you are a Category 5, Category 5 traders, for some of you don't know what that means, that means that you are a level, you know, you're that $1,000 to $2,500 day trader. If you're not, do not trade this stock. Uh, but can you trade it even if you're not? Yeah, you know what? We joke around it all the time, but I'm being serious. Buy one share. Buy one stinking share of the stock. What could worst thing could happen? You lose money. If you worry about lose money, you should not be in the business. But that one also, I'm going to put that on the watch list. Uh, we got this stock, RIG, a rig, rig right here. That's another one. Where am I? Right here. Uh... There we are. So we got the RIGL, another stock. It's got some support levels around 350, pretty decent volume. Not, you know, pretty fair spread right there, about three uh, about three pennies. That sounds pretty decent, but if it holds here, the stock looks like it's pushing up. Not really has the nice looking trend that we want, but, you know, for all you level one traders, it's right up your alley. And then obviously we got Mara and we got the Riot, okay? And um, Riot, obviously, I don't know, it's not moving as nicely as Mara's doing right now. I mean, if you really think about it, Mara is almost right, almost right there. Look at Mara's chart. Mara's like really didn't back off as much. Once again, why are these stocks moving? It's all about coin tomorrow, which I'm really looking excited to, to see how it goes. But listen, cyber traders, you know, fellow traders, just keep in mind, every day is a new adventure at Cyber Trade University. Right. Every day is a new adventure in the stock market. So, you know, a lot of you were trading and you missed the TIRX. That's OK. They're there every day. OK. So some people are like, oh, you know, I missed the Bitcoin. Oh, I missed the GameStop. Listen, they're there every day. And you only know that by being here in the trading room. And if you missed it, don't worry about it. Every day is a new day. You know what I mean? It's like I can't go fishing. I mean, you know me. I, I love fishing. I'm really looking excited because Fishing season starting. I'm here. I live here on Long Island, so I love going out in the ocean and fishing. But I, you know, I hear, I, I look at the reports. And I was like, oh my god, that guy caught a, a, a damn whale right, right where my spot where I go all the time. I can't go there every day. It's a, you know, it's so they're not going anywhere. Don't worry, they're still going to be there. Just some people got more lucky than others. But as long, as long as you know that you're in the right industry in the right business, you know, there's always going to be a new one. So. That's why I want to give you guys that, that you know, something to look forward to. All right, guys. So listen, fellow traders, let's get ready for the market. We got about 15 minutes. Go fill up your coffees. Go get ready. Go hit the restrooms. And um, let, well, let's see how – and listen, sometimes we always find some new ones that will pop up. A couple of people just bring up a couple of things up here. Uh, let me just check out some of these stocks. I got Jeff on in the cyber group trading room. It says, what about – this stock, uh, Alpha, it's, it's you know what? The stock obviously took a little bit of a hit. It's it, You know what? If it breaks the support levels right around here, right around 11, the stock is done. 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 Just get rid of it. Okay? But as of right now, it's it's not really doing too much, Jeff. Uh, but maybe on that short, just like I said, I know you're talking about short, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it plans out. I'm not completely sold on it. Uh, Trader K on YouTube, it says, what do you think of the LGVN trade? 
Um, it's got a nice little move. It's got good volume, 2.3 million shares. It's not bad. I like it. You know what? I'll put that on a watch list. I'll give you that. Okay. But a reason we'll probably why I didn't find it is that it just started making a move right now. It just showed up. It did the uh, 9 a.m. move. All right. But that one's not bad. That's a good call right there. All right, guys. Happy trading. Be safe. We'll be back here at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. And uh, listen, like us, friend us, do a trial for $9. You want to get in the cyber group room if you're on YouTube and Facebook. Cyber traders, you know, we're going to start commentary around 9.30. Remember, always wait the first five minutes, like we always say. Let all the slingshots happen. Let all this chaos happen. And then, like I said, make sure you work on your limit orders. And always, always think about taking a profit. You're always better off taking small profits than trying to take big profits because you're going to strike out trying to hit more home runs than making just going for the base hits. So that's the tip of the day. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe.